Hi, this is Richard Campbell from .NET Rocks, and I'm here in Anaheim, California at Build, and I'm talking to Jason Zander, fresh off your keynote. Congratulations, sir. Great talk. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was a lot of fun. It's been a great conference so far. So for the folks who missed the stream, can you give us a quick recap of what happened? Yeah, we talked a lot on day one about the Windows 8 vision, and you saw Stephen Sanofsky and, and his team go through all that content. And of course, uh, you know, the developer tools, a core part of that, what my team's been building. On day two, we moved over and talked a lot more about some of our cloud support. Um, in my portion of the keynote, uh, doing a few key demos in there around showing how you can use these cool new form factors uh, that were showed off uh, in the previous day keynote, but also hook them up to the cloud. So I can actually take nice devices, these Windows 8 tablets, uh, phone, multiple form factors, go build a service up in the cloud, connect those two things together. Uh, one of the other key things, you know, as, as a developer guy, you know, really like, um, tons of access to languages. So I showed off some C++ stuff, some advanced stuff for DX, which is also pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, in addition to using the XAML stack, you know, both in C++ as well as C Sharp, uh, and of course we have HTML and JavaScript, but I kind of showed a couple of demos there. And we kind of wrapped up by talking about uh, hosted TFS and, and ALM. So it's, uh, you know, quite a, quite a spectrum of technology, actually. Yeah, a really broad set of technologies. And it's nice to see that sort of symmetry that it doesn't matter whether it's on-premise or in the cloud, it all seems to work exactly the same. Yeah, we, a really important thing to me is that you can, especially as a developer, go take your core skill sets, go use a lot of your assets, and be able to, when a new platform comes along or it's something cool you need to go support, that I can go use that skill set. I don't have to go retrain myself from scratch. Uh, clearly that's the case so if you're a C Sharp, VB programmer, .NET, C++, HTML, JavaScript, any of these things, uh, you're able to go take that and make it work you know, on the cloud. You can make it work you know, on the local devices. I, I think that's a, a very cool thing. And the tools we've got, the, uh, the components we've bought, all those sorts of things are all going to work just fine in Windows 8. Yeah, the ecosystem that we have is, is super important. We've got, you know, just tons of plugins and everything else like that from our partners. You can go up to the VS Gallery and go find a bunch of these. Uh, I think people rely on it when they're building, you know, applications, having that reach ecosystem. Not just what we put in the Visual Studio box, but what the partners produce and even some of the community stuff as well. Now, the other thing you talked a great deal about, I was excited about, is the progression of TFS and the whole ALM side of uh, Studio. Yes, absolutely. And so one of the things we've showed off yesterday um, is a, a couple of things. One, big support in, in Agile. Uh, we definitely have like tripled down on Agile support. And when I talk to people, most everybody's using Scrum or some form of Scrum these days. Uh, and so we have included first class support for that. We have product backlogs. I can do sprint planning. You know, I've got task boards so I can work with my engineers, you know, put my Scrum Master in there, make that stuff go. And it's all fully integrated. We have requirements management, you know, all these sorts of things are built in there. Code review, unit testing, everything you need to kind of fulfill a developer operations kind of cycle of building, deploying, you know, getting that kind of environment going. So we showed off all that. So that's one big piece. The second thing I would say is also uh, there was news uh, in the keynote is the hosted TFS preview and we're, we're starting to make that available to people. Um, so what's cool is, hey, if you, uh, uh, you know, we've, we've made availables of these golden tickets so people can kind of sign up uh, and you can go create an account on hosted TFS backed up in the cloud on top of Azure, on top of SQL Azure. It's a great platform for that. And now I can start doing all these scenarios. In fact, all of the stuff I showed with Agile yesterday was done on a cloud-based version of TFS with the rich client. And same, that same sense that it didn't matter whether it was running on-premise or in the cloud, it works essentially exactly the same. Yeah, I think, you know, people are looking for a great, you know, story that allows them to have that flexibility, right? So if I'm going to go build the workload in the cloud, and certainly as a ISV myself, you know, mm -hmm. that's what I'm also looking for, right? I have people that absolutely want to do an on-prem, you know, kind of behind the firewall. That's where my TFS, you know, sort of data wants to live. But this is also another great option because I at the public cloud, I never touch the machines, you know, but I can just go sign up and go use it and it still works. You know, the, the stuff I showed yesterday was in the browser, but I also showed uh, some components, you know, that we're sitting inside of the, the IDE as well. So the folks that are at home that are hearing about hosted TFS, can they get involved as well? So they can. Uh, I would recommend people go take a look at Brian Harry's blog, uh, B. Harry, and uh, the Microsoft blog, and just go find it. You'll go Bing search it, and you're going to go find it. Uh, and Brian's making available some additional signups that are available for that, too. Uh, we're rolling this out kind of slowly as a service, building it up and adding more and more people. Um, so just you know, go ahead and see if you can get one of those tickets, and you know, look, look forward, because we will be adding more folks over time. And any last things you wanted to bring up? 
Well, I think we, we talked a little bit about the importance of the partner ecosystem. I just want to make sure and really underscore that. Uh, now that we've got to the point um, where we've you know made the bits available, so the Visual Studio 11 bits are now available. People can go download it, first on MSDN, and then a couple days later, everyone will be able to download it. Uh, we're working very closely with our you know core partners and that partner ecosystem. We're going to go make that work. So if you're you know really really excited about you know uh, any particular types of developer productivity things that you're you're you're, you're picking up. We're going to work with our partners, make sure those are available on day one, and now they're going to work with these cool new applications, the Metro-style you know, APIs, and as well as up on Azure and all the other form factors that we support. It's going to be pretty cool. Yeah, it's not your father's windows, is it? It's, it's a, it wasn't it stunning. It was pretty cool, I thought. Yeah, it's an really amazing great. step forward. I'm really impressed. Congratulations, and thanks for talking to us, James. Thank you very much.